Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I feel like it's been forever since I filmed a clothing haul. But let's do a huge one today. This one's gonna be an autumn like winter clothing haul. I've got heaps of stuff in here. I've got clothes and shoes and these are the things that I've been obsessed with and wearing so much lately. Also, I was experimenting with some new makeup today. I'm so, so happy. So I've been trying to achieve that gradient, really shiny, plump looking lip. And I think I did it. I'm so happy. Let's just jump right into this massive autumn clothing haul. First thing is first, I want to probably show you guys all the pants that I've been loving. So my very first item is right here. Oh wait. Can you peep the new background? I love it. I stuff like this is such a DIY thing. If you look at my shorts, you probably saw this. I'm really proud of it because it's giving Pinterest aesthetic. Anyway, the first thing I got are the basic straight leg low rise denim jeans. They're light wash because I feel like you need like a light wash and a dark wash in the wardrobe. And I just love this color because it goes with everything. Next up in the jeans department are these cargo jeans. These are a bit more of a stylish pair compared to the like super basic ones I just showed you guys. And got this really awesome Y2K belt that I'm trying to do up as I speak to you guys. It's just got a bit more detail, it's a bit more fun to play around with and I feel like it's more going out. So I've got like these side ties on the jean. It's perfect for that in-between like dressy but casual vibe. Some days I feel like jeans are just too basic and I'm like oh my god I can't be seen like looking so basic. Even though basic is such a slay. So I chuck on these jeans and then I feel like I'm more fancy dancing. These dickies are my favorite favorite pants ever when I feel like I want something that are not jeans. I have gotten a lot of hate on TikTok when they first got viral and I folded the band down. Look at this. Do you see the contrast effect? I feel like this is just giving way more than if it was folded up. These stickies are just like a statement so it just elevates it from being so basic and then if you pair it with really nice sneakers then you guys have got a comfy stylish trendy outfit and that is like ticking all the boxes that you want to tear. Okay hear me out. This is another thing. Do you see how it kind of like folds in a little it gives the illusion of like that v cut and then it accentuates the hips so for me i'm not looking like a door but i have like a waist like what do you guys see what i mean with the waist like just this illusion of a v looks so good i would personally wear this color with more cool tone pieces like maybe a black leather jacket or some blues in there the best thing about dickies is that they are fun fact essentially work pants so they're meant to be quite durable which i love because sometimes when i go out i'm like clumsy so my clothes catch and stuff i'm not always thinking about clothes at the top of my mind i'm kind of like thinking about food or something and in that sense I get caught up and I'm not the most gentle with my clothes so sometimes they catch and that just breaks my heart so when I wear these it's like I know that they're tough and I don't have to think about them like I don't have to be mindful of where I sit I have one more pair of pants to show you alright you guys she is giving Catwoman. These are some faux leather pants I'm absolutely in love with. I find like these ones are so flattering because they're tighter on your like hip waist area and then on your butt so it gives you like a full delicious booty and then it like flares out at the leg. Not flare, it's not a flare but it's like a straight leg and I think these are just amazing because they make me look tall, they make me look slim but also guys I'm not doing a little secret. I have been severely lacking on eating healthy and working out so I'm thinking of doing a k-pop workout challenge maybe i'm gonna do like one yong and i'm gonna be filming that because you guys seem to love when i did the seraphim workout one so let me know your thoughts on that because i'm kind of really excited and i want to challenge myself let's jump into the tops category so the first thing that i would highly recommend getting or that i love wearing is this basic crew neck short sleeve top it's a nice stretchy one this one is like molded to my body so i love it it's from skims and it's just a nice bone cream off-white color my struggle is i don't know if you guys can relate but i love some crisp white tops like especially the stretchy ones but i feel like they just never last that long the clean white effect doesn't stay that long no matter like how you wash it so i've kind of just opted to go for it a cream instead because I just feel like it's easier to maintain. I got this really cute v-neck cropped sweater. With this hairstyle, it's kind of giving ballerina vibes. It's ballet core and if I just like paired it with maybe a nice mini skirt, like a flowy one and some leg warmers, that is giving ballet core aesthetic. Aesthetic. I do love me a cropped 
sweater although it can get really cold like if you think about it because you're showing your tummy i like the fact this one is v-neck it's not super deep i do not love me anything deep v-neck like so hard to style for one i already know what you guys are thinking saying like that top is not giving sis that top is not it and like i get it like it doesn't look the great greatest on its own but here we are i got this top purely for layering to go under sweaters and i got it at a cropped length because it will match my cropped sweater so you thought don't know, let me show you how i would style it which leads me to this one so i would style it with a nice cropped sweater vest like giving pinterest vibes and you know me i'm trying to be a pinterest girly this is exactly how i would layer my top and sweaters this is my favorite sweater vest at the moment it's giving classy it's giving chic and it's giving preppy this is the sweater vest then I have a really similar item. This is a full sweater this time. It is a really lovely knitted oversized sweater. She's giving Dracula. Even with these jeans, it's kind of really cute. And like my hair ribbon is really tying it in. Anyway, I'm trying to go for the soft girl aesthetic in autumn. And then I'll go for the baddie boots and trench coat in winter. Next thing I want to show you is this really cute ribbed knit zip up sweater. It's got a hood as well. It's all like cream tone. Can you guys get the gist of this video? Don't worry. I have colored pieces as well. I'm going to show you guys my colored piece. Side note, but I just got a notification and I've been invited to influencer lunch. So do you guys want me to take you along to all these influencer events? Let me know in the comments below. This is the color I have for you guys. I absolutely froth this top to people still say that. This is really, really sweet, lacy, baby pink top. The bodice area here isn't see-through at all, so it's like lined. But the sleeves, look how starting the sleeves are. It is giving ballet core. It is baby pink. Like, look at this tie. This tie completes it for me. Guys, I almost forgot this top. Well, I love a nice turtleneck. It's perfect for layering. It gives that, like, high neck effect and it keeps your neck warm. Alright, this is the brightest colour we have in this haul. I am also not really a reds person, but this top, I can get behind. I really like this top. I think it's perfect for, like, a dressy casual kind of vibe. And I feel like this here helps to accentuate, like, a nice hour body cut in look. This is what makes this top so fun and interesting. Do you see the back? I'm trying to go out of my comfort zone with colours. I recently just got this sweater. It is literally the softest knit sweater I have ever owned. And the best thing is, it is so comfy and so warm. It's kind of got like these really nice wide arm sleeves. I can't wait for colder weather. Let me know which one's your favorite outfit or favorite piece down in the comments as well. Guys, I think I just created a whole new look. It's the grey monochrome aesthetic. I need to stop saying aesthetic. I said aesthetic as a form of irony and now it's stuck when it should be aesthetic. I am wearing all grey at the moment. I love it. Down to the socks. We got grey socks on guys. I love this sweater so much. I wanted to keep it on while I show you guys some of the skirts. I've got this really cute pleated mini skirt. The pockets are showing through, which I absolutely adore because it just adds a little bit of extra detail to the outfit. This skirt on me is mid-rise, which is the most comfiest form of cut on me and the most flattering. Whereas I don't really vibe high-rise anymore. I feel like once you become a low mid-rise girl, you can never go back to being high-rise. Then I've also got this black A-line skirt. This is is what she looks like on all the skirts I'm showing you in today's haul are mini skirts because I'm short I feel like mini skirts just help me look a little taller this is the last mini skirt I have for you guys this one is so gorgeous it's got the pleat but it's also got these really nice buckles and I love this little bit of detailing because it just makes the skirt pop even more and it makes it look a little different from your everyday like pleated skirt and it's just playing into like the preppy aesthetic the vanilla girl aesthetic this is the dress. It is so cute. It's a nice mesh frilly kind of look. And look at, I just love the colors on this. It's got a bit of blue popping through with the brown. Like that is so cute to me. The length is perfect on me where it's not too short, but it's just a nice mini length. And there's so many styling options. You guys, I'm thinking like brown knee high boots, which are part of this haul. Or like crew socks and loafers. When it gets colder in winter, you can also do this with stockings. Jumping into jackets now, the first jacket I have for you is this really cute brown faux leather bomber jacket. It's so stylish on and there's so many options when styling this. Like even with this dress and a bit of brown to tie into the brown detailing dress, it is my go-to jacket. Then this is my favorite faux leather no leather jacket i got this bad boy from the op shop for like 20 dollars. it was so 
such a steal for me. Fun fact, this is actually a men's jacket. Got me some nice pockets, keeps me really nice and warm. The last clothing item I have in this haul for you guys is this trench coat that I recently just got. I literally got this trench coat yesterday and I really wanted to show you guys. It's really long, it's super tall. It goes all the way down to my ankles and it's this nice woolly blend, thick material and it's got some like light shoulder pads but not like heavy duty, like masculine ones. Still got the tag attached, that's how new it is. Got real pockets. I do not like stuff with fake pockets. Okay, it doesn't really go with the dress, I know, but can't be bothered changing. Kind of giving detective vibes, but when you dress it nicely, it gives super classy, chic, European, streets of London kind of vibe. All right, besties, let's move into my final category, which are shoes. I have narrowed it down to three shoes for you guys. First up are these gorgeous pair of chocolate brown knee-high boots. They've got this really nice chunky heel here. It's like square, which I love because anything with a thin heel and if it's super tall, then I'm a klutz and I'm probably gonna fall tripping well my ankle and make an embarrassment on myself. A nice heel, it gives such a cute preppy vibe. Oh. Best thing about knee high boots is that they're super comfy so I can walk in these all day and not have soft feet. I recently got these super sick pair of chunky loafers. These ones have a bit of heel and we all know by now but I'm short. So I take anything that's gonna give me height and these bad boys deliver. And then lastly are my newest addition to my New Balance fam. Gorgeous all beige sneakers. Look at these, aren't they stunning? They're perfect for casual outfits like with jeans, super versatile and they're comfy. If you can't tell by now, but I'm all about comfort. Comfort is key in all my outfits because there's nothing better than feeling comfy and looking super cute. So that is why I stand all of these shoes so much. All right, you guys, that brings it to the end of my autumn winter clothing haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Do let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.